Hi guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. Today I wanted to show you all the new, fun, not so expensive things I just got from Amazon Prime Day. I feel like Prime Day is every month. Like, I feel like they keep adding a new Prime Day to every quarter of the year. It used to be just Black Friday. Black Friday was the big day that everyone got some nice new TV for $200. You know, there's Black Friday, there's Cyber Monday. And now we've got July Prime Day. Prime days, not just one day, days. Okay, anyways, I thought it'd be fun to share with you a couple of the new things that I got for my home. And honestly, for me too, basically the things I got were for my home or like wellness stuff. First things first, I'm gonna show you my new curtains. Okay, new curtains, yay! The curtains that came with this house were really ugly. Let me just start out by saying, I will link everything below in the description of what I'm going to talk about. You can shop the links, they will be like affiliate links, but if you choose to buy something from those links, I will earn a small portion to no additional price to you. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, I just truly want to show off my beautiful new curtains. I hate the curtain rod. Curtain rod came with the house. Do not feel like buying new curtain rods. They're expensive for what, you know? These are blackout curtains. They have like this extra kind of layer to them that blocks out the sun, keeps it real cool. Since I have these big windows in my living room, it tends to heat up the house and the house already has a hard time staying at a cool temperature with it being 100 degrees outside. So I've got these, they've got the silver kind of sliding gauntlets, I think they're called up top. Who do I think I am? Do I think I'm like a QVC model? I don't know all of the actual words that these are, okay? I'm just going to be giving these in Hannah terms. Anyways, we've got these nice <laughs> silver things up here that help slide really well. These are 84 length. This came in a pack of two and they're 42 inches across, I'm pretty sure. So I thought about just doing one, but I really like the way it looks with the two. It's just like a full gorgeous look to my curtains. I also got it for this, but with these, I got the 82 length across with the 84 length. Length is 84, width is 82, I believe. And that is just so when I close these, See how dark it gets in here? When I close them, it has like just a fullness. I think it looks really pretty that way. This is probably my most proud purchase that I got. I think it was $30 for this pair and then the wider curtains were 30 a piece. Not real proud. Didn't know that I wasn't getting two in a pack. I did only order one curtain at first because I thought it came in a pack of two. Nope, spent another $30 for bigger width oh well it looks good and i'm happy with that i'm happy with that i promise next thing i want to show you was honestly kind of an impulse buy when i bought these curtains one of the suggested purchases was these they are ropes that have magnets on the ball portion that way you can put these around your curtain to you know tie them back that way they'll stay together at the ends I have not used them very much because I don't really need them, but they are cute and they do work really well. So it is kind of something fun. Here, I'll see if I can test it out. Voila! Voila! Next thing I got is the definition of, I saw an influencer use it once and I was influenced to buy it. As someone with chronic jaw pain, on Amazon they were called four piece facial reflexology massage tool stainless steel something or another, okay? It was a four pack with these little facial tools. One model was using this on Vogue like this to massage out your jaw. And let me tell you, it's nice. It's really nice. So a lot of times I'll just sit on the couch and I'll just do this. You go around your ear. There's all sorts of like spots you're supposed to hit in your face to help with lymphatic drainage. I'm a sucker for facial tools, wellness tools. It did come in with a couple other devices, torture devices and a new gua sha. I'm not gonna complain about getting another gua sha cause I actually do enjoy these and I do find that they help a lot with my jaw pain. So just a good way to relax. I don't have this in my house right now because they're in my car, but I bought a two pack of replacement garage door openers. 
super easy to program with my garage door. I literally just Googled replacement garage door openers and the Amazon link came up. So two pack of replacement garage door openers. Check the link in my bio. Let's head on into my bedroom so I can show you a couple more items that we bought. That's right. The next item is this here king size mattress. Whoa! You don't know how happy I am to finally own a king size mattress. It is crazy that we live in a day and age where you can just go online and buy a mattress and it gets shipped to you in a box two days later. King size mattress, really nice. Can finally sprawl out in peace. As a six foot woman, it is nice to have a giant mattress. Don't look at my curtains. I need new curtains, they're really ugly. But yes, but that's not the only thing that you're looking at that I bought. A two pack of new memory foam, shredded memory foam pillows. Okay, king size pillow. This thing is ginormous. Comes with this shredded memory foam stuff inside, so it's super squishy. They tell you to take out some of the stuffing and just to adjust it to your likeness. I have yet to take out the stuffing because I'm scared to get rid of the stuffing and need it back. So like I'm waiting to figure out where to put the extra stuffing before I take some stuff out because like this thing is so full. I do not need a pillow this stuffed. There's not enough space at night to sleep with two pillows this size. It's like kind of heavy too. Anyway, Anyways, got a two pack of these. I think they were the hotel collection pillows. We also got two pack of shredded memory foam for another brand to try out. So I got a two pack of these. Reed got a two pack of, I forgot the brand's name, but I'll link them below. I kind of like his more, but I'm not willing to admit that yet. Still testing these out. I've been sleeping on these for about a week now. Okay, let's head in the bathroom. Welcome to my bathroom. Just like being in here because the lighting's not terrible, honestly. Being a middle-aged, middle-aged, being a woman in my middle 20s, there are a few niche concerns that start to arise. One is cellulite, okay? And I've just recently gotten a little bit scared of cellulite. <laughs> so something I bought, did I need this? No. Does it actually help? I don't know. This is a cellulite massaging tool which in part I bought massaging oil. So that way when I get out of the shower, take a little massage oil, lather up my legs, and start kneading out that cottage cheese. Being a woman is wonderful. I also bought a set of dry brushes. This is partly because I've seen Gwyneth Paltrow do this once. She said it was good for circulation, lymphatic drainage, and everything. It's also apparently good for cellulite. So you take this, before you get in the shower. It's also good for exfoliating, and I think it just feels good in general. It does kind of hurt at first. I need to still like soak my brush in water. I've been giving it a try, giving a little goop realness a try and seeing if it actually makes any difference. Mainly, use this on my legs, okay? It also did come with a mini brush is a little two-piece set. I've seen people use this to wash their face at night. They said it's helped with acne. I don't know that I'm going to be using it to wash my face. Maybe just to do a little bit of like neck dry brushing or arm. <laughs> it might be good though to wash your face. It's just like a little bit tough. After that, I did stock up on a few skincare things that I've been wanting slash needing. The first was this Avene. First was this Avene Tolerance Control Soothing Skin Recovery Cream. This is a rebuy for me. This is the second time that I've had this product and it's just a really good lightweight moisturizer. Not too greasy, doesn't make my skin break out, no fragrance. It's a go-to. This thing will last me like quite a while too. Just two pumps, morning, night, it's awesome. If you are looking for a new skincare thing, I give this 100% satisfaction rate from your girl, okay? Because it was on sale, I wanted to try this out. I've seen it a million times. I do suffer from a few breakouts here and there. And like I said, no one exfoliates as much as they should. So I bought the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I've heard nothing but good things from this. I've only used it twice. Haven't noticed like a giant difference yet, but I am excited to use this more. Then finally, this is something that haven't we all seen it? Haven't we all wanted to try it out at some point since it was on sale? I'm giving the Snail Mucin Power Essence a try. Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. 
This stuff is supposed to be extremely good for keeping the moisture in your skin, for helping with elasticity, giving you an overall healthy look. This brand, was it Cosrx? Cosrx? I don't know. This brand has good things in general. I use their um, peptides, peptide. I use their skin peptide booster all the time. So I thought, why not try out something else? I've only really used, this stuff like lasts a while too. I do about two pumps every morning and night with this stuff. And then now I've been going on top of it with the snail mucin. What is it, snail mucin? Don't wanna know. Don't tell me. I kind of forgot to mention my bed. Since we bought a new king size bed, we had to also buy a bed frame. Bought that on Amazon Prime Day as well. It's been working really well. It's just like your most basic bed frame. Does the job, holds that bed up. We also got it at the 18 inch height. Really love my bed sitting up higher. As a tall person, loving everything at a higher height, okay? Since I've been using this L.L. Bean Boat and Toe as my everyday like kind of purse, just casual purse, it's just open wide, okay? I bought these zipper pouches, I guess you would say, to keep in my purse. Like I've got all of my lipsticks and whatnot in one. That way, if I drop my purse, something spills out of my purse, if I wanna transfer to another purse, I can just pick this up put it in the other bag. I forgot to mention this, but the last thing that I bought was a lighted makeup vanity mirror. I actually bought this as a gift for my mom for her birthday, so I don't have it here to show you, but she was in desperate need of a replace for her makeup mirror. She had a crack in the mirror. It was literally from probably 2008. I was like, mom, it's time to do something about this. And she was never gonna buy one for herself. It's adjustable, it's rechargeable, so that way you don't have to keep your makeup light plugged in at all times. That kind of wraps up everything I got from Prime Day. Christmas will be here before you know it. Okay, Black Friday will be here before you know it. Start making your list now. Like I said, everything's going to be linked down in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, something that you bought on Prime Day. I'm making a list. I need to know what I need to get next time around. Love you, see you in the next video. Bye.